Is that you? Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. We go out and get a falafel and we just talk about it, you know? Because, you know, I was thinking about checking out this place called um, Falafel Drive In. I don't know, I was doing some research on Yelp last night and it got some really good reviews. So I think we should check that out. But um, if you still need more time, I'll just be here knitting. If you know how much I love to knit. <laughs> so, um, oh, I almost forgot to tell you. I was sexually harassed by a dog today. <laughs> that was weird. But, uh, you know, I didn't hate it, so it's all good. Um, but yeah, I'll just be here. <sighs> all finished. Tori, come look at this. You're not mad at me about the time that I burnt all your clothes, are you? Is this about the time that your dog died in that clothes fire? I mean, I know you miss him and everything, but I got him stuffed for you, so I don't know why you're still pissed. It wasn't cheap either. Okay, I'm sorry about the time that I let that migrant farm worker sleep in your bed. Viewers, it's going around. Hori Tori. Wasn't even my idea. That was Ryan's. <laughs> He's an idiot. Hey. Uh, oh, Ryan. <laughs> Sorry. You are the worst friend ever. Come on, big money. Remember that time that um, you tried to kiss me and then I rejected you? And then you tried to play it off like you were drunk because you got really embarrassed? You know, Chewy, you and I are gonna be the best of friends now because we won't have any distractions with this one. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> okay. I know it's been a really tough week for you. What with your grandma dying and that hurricane kind of came out of nowhere. And then your boyfriend cheating on you. But that is no excuse for how you have been treating me. Ever since you got home an hour ago, it's like I don't even know you. Well, I've had enough! 